tonight, a very special episode. Mark squashes a big bug just to scare the girl. And for Herman's head, Ken Hudson Campbell. Consumer reporter, Mike Franco. Hula Hoop master, Matt Blendel. Plus tonight's band, the Royal Crown Review. And now, say goodnight to Mark DeCaro. the Royal Crown Review, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Um, let's, if we can just hold on one second, Eric. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for a very important phone call today, and I just got here. If you can just, I got to check my messages really quickly, because this is, could be really good for my career. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, Nelly, I think I got the machine. No, that's not it. That, that's probably it right here. This is the Tyler Research Center. If you think President Clinton is doing a good job on health care reform, press 1 now. If you're too sick to respond, press 2 now. I don't like computers when they call me here at work. Hello? Oh, I got the machine again, Nelly. Well, we're going to Forrest Gump at 8. Well, what? Forrest Gump? Well, oh, it sounds so nice, too. Well, oh, oh, and bridges canceled. Helen went to Jamaica with the busboy from the club. We should never list our phone number in the phone book. That's a Hey, horrible. what about me? I've been sitting in the green room for 45 minutes. Oops, oops, oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Folks, our first guest has been waiting back there. He's very funny. You've seen him on Herman's Head. Now he's right here. Please welcome Ken Hudson Campbell from Herman's Head. <laughs> This is like a new machine, and once you start playing the messages, yeah. if you hang up, they automatically erase. And, you know, I thought there might be something. It's okay, you know, I just wanted to get out here and do what I do best, you know, and that's entertain America. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so, uh, where are the lovely ladies? Can't we make, wait to meet the ladies? Where are they, huh? Uh, I think, uh, see, th you're thinking of a different show. I used to do a different show. There's no women here. Um, it's Good Night America. It's kind of a late night talk show thing. Oh, right. So where's Andy Richter? I don't, who's Andy? <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Conan O'Brien, Late Night with Conan O'Brien. This is Good Night, America. John no. London's not here either. <laughs> Just me and you. You seem kind of... Have you ever been on a talk show before? No. <laughs> no, it's my first one, but... Uh, You'd never know. <laughs> you never will. Oh, thanks. I mean, because you've been on... What, Herman's Head's been on... Uh, Three years, you got yeah. another year coming out in the fall, that's great. You must be pretty psyched about that. Uh, it's great, to, I mean, have, being on a sitcom, you get steady work, work week after week. Uh, we've been canceled. Herman's Head's been canceled? Uh, after three, uh, three years, 72 episodes, uh, for some reason they see, saw fit to uh, cut the, oh, I'm sorry. the head off Herman, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now you played, yes. you were one of the guys in the head, you were sneezy? I, uh, I was uh, dopey. Doc. Doc. I was Doc. <laughs> Uh, I was sex and food. I, I portrayed sex and food. And um, thank you sex very much. Sex and food? Very much. No, very much. A lot of method <laughs> actors, you know, like De Niro, he, he put on 70 pounds for Raging right. Bull. How did, you, how did you research the role of sex and food? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, when I got there, when I got to the set the first day of work, I saw, you know, a lazy boy sitting in front of a TV and a beer can strewn about and stacks of dirty magazines, and I was like, hey, I'm home. <laughs> this is it. No problems here. So it just kind of, I just eased into the role, you know. So uh, it, sure. Do you have any new shows coming up in the fall, something different? Well, you know, because uh, the character of sex and food was just kind of limiting. And, and you, you don't want to get pigeonholed. You don't want to get pigeonholed, you know. So uh, I'm working with Whit Thomas Productions, who they produced Herman's Head, on, sure. on a new show for myself. And What's it called? Uh, Brian's Thoughts. Uh-huh. And um, I play uh, I play a guy. It's a big departure for you. It sounds like. Yeah. Well, it's just instead of having a bunch of people in his head, it's just one guy in his head. And so you know, I get to run the gambit of you know, sex and food, and you know, you know anger or uh, or you know, being a wimp, that kind of stuff. You know, uh -huh. it's. Uh, so, but you, all the emotions, you got to have them on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, and you're, are you like, pretty good at doing that? Oh, sure, sure. Folks, someone shout out an emotion and we'll have Ken act it out for you. Pain. Sh pain. Do pain. <laughs> pain. <laughs> Obviously, the show's still in development and yeah. you're, you're still working on it. Working, it's a work in progress. Right, well, uh, good luck with that. Hold I'm on, wait a minute. Ah! Here, that's good. Ah! Oh, right. yeah. Pain, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> pain. 
So you've done television. You've done movies. I know you've done, done a couple. Movies, yeah, yeah. I was in a little film called Home Alone. Maybe you remember that movie. I don't know. Home Alone. <laughs> Home Alone. I saw. I don't. Uh, I saw that movie a couple times. I don't. What part did you play in it? I was the little kid. Really? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You were the Santa Claus guy for real. I was Santa. Yes. Yeah, so the I drunk was, Santa. Was Santa, and I was. Uh, I was wearing it. I wasn't. I wasn't drunk. You thought I was drunk? Oh, I'm thinking of now. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I was, kinda... I was smoking butts, and I was like, not your usual Santa. No. And uh, and that was that was that was a that movie made some money. I think. It did just a little. What about Groundhog Day? Was that fun working on? Groundhog Day was a great film. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, thank you. Now I don't know if you folks remember. Ken scene in Groundhog Day is you, you, you kind of walk up to Bill Murray in the hallway right. as he's leaving the hotel. Yes. Uh, what originally? was your character name? Well, that's, a, that's kind of a problem. Uh, originally, he was called Chubby Man. <laughs> in the uh, script? In the script, they said Chubby Man. And I had a, Did you have to go in and audition for that part? Uh, yeah, I had to go in and audition, and, uh, and I said, I'm up for the role of Chubby Man. And I, uh, I asked him once we got the part, I said, you know, can we change that to something else? Because I just don't want Chubby Man on my resume no, for the rest yeah. of my life. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, your, your career has covered the gamut. You've been in the movies, the TV. Is there stuff that you want to do that you haven't had a chance to do? Well, the, the thing is, is that uh, doing a show where you're seen as one character, it, it really does get limiting, like we said before. So I'm really trying to expand myself. And I'm experiencing, uh, experimenting with a little musical theater right now. Really? Yeah. Well, since people don't really know what I look like, I'm trying to get out and show everybody the real Ken Campbell. You seriously don't get recognized on the street? No, because I wore the hat and I didn't wear the glasses. And, you know, I wear these glasses. They're part of me, and it's just something I think America should see. Well, I think this is your first night on a talk show. It would be great if you... Would you favor us with a tune right here, right I now? Yeah, come on. You want to know. Back yourself out. I have Coke bottle glasses. I hate my Coke bottle glasses. The kids in all my classes, they are always teasing me. So yes, I will discard them. And at once I will be finally free. Who cares if I can't see? <laughs> now no one will make fun of... Hey, fat ass! Fat ass. <laughs> that was great, Kenny! That was fabulous! Don't listen to those naysayers. We'll be right back with Consumer Reporter Mike Frankel. Don't let that bother you. If you or someone you know has herpes, then this is important to watch because the product I'm going to share with you is guaranteed to work. It's called Azurex. There is no cure for herpes, but there is something guaranteed to stop outbreaks, provide soothing relief, and accelerate healing. In this attack pack, there are five individual swabs. They are easy to carry and easy to use. Just snap it to activate it. If you feel an outbreak coming on, apply Azurex after that first tingle and immediately feel the relief. So if you're looking for something that's powerful, natural, and really works, then order Azurex now. I just want you to know we had that guy taken out and, and he's not gonna bug you again. I'm, it's okay. No, it's I apologize. Right. No, I apologize. No, no. Things like that happen. Well, I, I, I didn't want it to happen here, but uh, there's some good stuff coming up now because, you know, summer's upon us, folks, and here to tell us what to watch out for during summer, because summer can be a very dangerous time, as you know, Ken. Oh, yeah. We have our very own consumer reporter. Please welcome Mr. Mike Franco. <laughs> Uh, during the commercial, I was going through a little newsletter here. The oh, good. I'm glad you picked that up. Franco Mark. file? Yes, indeed. There's it's a lot of interesting tips and things there in here. There are for the consumers. Mm -hmm. I think you'll, they'll find that very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a few things I'd like to talk about tonight, sure. Mark. 
Uh, well, the first warning I have goes out to uh, parents of camp age children. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of them watching well, I'm sure there are, and probably most of them already have placed their, their children in camps this summer. Mm -hmm. However, I think this warning will uh, give them pause before they enroll them next year, Mark. Great, okay. Uh, apparently, two dozen parents uh, recently took their children to a camp in New Jersey. It was a, a beautiful camp. They mm -hmm. had painted wagons, campfires, dancing. Uh, it was just a wonderful place to Sounds leave like the kids. Kids were having fun until uh, they went back two weeks later to pick them up, Mark. What happened? Well, there was nothing there. The kids were gone. The painted wagons had vanished. Uh, the, the police have no tips at all. As a matter of fact, anyone who has any information regarding that is urged to uh, contact the New Jersey State Police. Well, or write us here and we will forward that. Well, what's, what is the name of the, that camp so folks can avoid it? Well, you know, I, I'm glad you asked that because the, the ad in the paper was Gypsy Camp. Now, I think they should have suspected something sure. right away. I, I, I just have a bad feeling that some of these kids may be lifting wallets down in Times Square oh, right that now. That would be horrible. Oh, that would be terrible. You really, really should would. check things out a little more. Before Use you common dump. sense, people. Exactly. Common sense. And I guess that's the most important thing if you're going to be a consumer. Just you, don't that's, be stupid. That's what I tell people. That's exactly what What else you got in here? Well, the, the, uh, the second warning... Um, uh, you know, I hate to always be the bearer of bad news. It's your Mark. job, Mike. Well, but... You know, I think we've all heard about, Ken, you've heard about the, the killer bees oh, yeah, epidemic. Sure. Now Coming up through Mexico. Absolutely. They've now come over the southern borders. They've entered the United States. It's frightening. It is. It's, uh, it's terrible. And now... One bee sting can kill like, an, uh, like a whole cow, I think. Well, uh, something like that, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, uh-huh. I, I think so. I think so. I mean, that's, that's what I read in here, is anyway. That, maybe it could be. It's, it's true. Right if there. it's in there, I One should... One bee sting kills an entire I really got to read this myself. <laughs> yeah. um, any, anyway, now, apparently, we're, we're about to endure a, an assault from the north, on oh. the northern border there. What is that? Well, it's not killer bees. Good. Uh, Mark, it's killer geese. <laughs> it, it, I, I, you're not laughing, are you? I'm not laughing. This is a very serious thing here. Honestly, a now, geese doesn't seem like to be a very well. Hey, hey, bird. hey! There have been tragic occurrences where there have been little Eskimo kids out playing on the tundra, and suddenly they've been attacked by entire flocks of geese. Some of them have practically been goosed to death. Oh, that's horrible! Yeah, well, it's very. Thank you. It's very, very painful. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you've ever been goosed by a Canadian goose. <laughs> I haven't. But they're the they're the worst. They're the worst. <laughs> So let's keep that in mind, uh, you know, in case we have some it's of like our viewers who are, are planning a camping trip up north, just beware. It's like there's no place safe to go anymore, I'm Mike. I'm afraid, I know, I'm afraid. But I guess it's better to be for, for, uh, warned. That's right, than Thank forearmed. Yes, um, <laughs> uh, now, you know, I'd like at this time to also issue my annual summer warning to the uh, people. Please remember, don't eat those summertime treats ice cream treats particularly too quickly. I think we all know that that can cause those dreaded, dreaded ice cream headaches. Oh, Those oh. are terrible, aren't Nothing they? Nothing works on those oh, two. You get after that a right slurpee, here. man, I go down. <laughs> so I, I'm just telling you people, please, please, just eat slow. I think that's something everyone can uh, benefit from. Yeah. Uh, now, I understand because you've been coming on our show for a while now, you've uh -huh. got your own Cable thing coming Thanks up? Thanks for bringing that up. Congratulations. Yeah, What's you. it called? Well, it's called uh, uh, Consumer Tips with Mike. It's going to be on the new uh, cable consumer channel. Great. So I, I hope everyone will call their cable operator and sign up for that. <laughs> Thank Great. you. Congratulations. Thanks. What's that show like? What are you going to be doing? Well, uh, the, the first three weeks, actually, I'm just going to be reading from my newsletter. It's <laughs> great. Now, I, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's going to be kind of fun for me. Now, on the back here, you got new products. There's some yeah. new things coming yeah, out of the market. Yeah, there certainly are. Um, you know, I think we're all familiar with the, the uh, nicotine patch that people wear on their upper arm, and it Do helps. Does those work? Well, I, I've heard so. It, it dispenses a, a trace amount of nicotine into the bloodstream and suppos supposedly cuts back on the craving for cigarettes. Are you a smoker, Ken? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, Ken, if you are, here, here's a product to, to beware of. Stay away from this. There, there's a new cigarette that's just about to hit the stands. It's called Dare. Now, this is supposedly a cigarette that you can smoke while you're on the patch. Oh, that's not right. No, that's not right. There is no such thing as a safe cigarette, particularly when you've got nicotine plunging in to your system from a patch. That's like that's, a double dose. It's a double dose. Have I'm going to add that to that newsletter. You should. A double dose. That's good. Have you, have you ever tried to quit? Uh... No, I, I really I haven't tried to quit, and I'm not going to. I'm going to keep on smoking. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> You don't have a smoker's voice either. You've got a nice clear tone when you were out there singing. You have a oh, cigarette. Thank you. Voice. Thank you very much. <laughs>
What else you got coming out on the market? Well, there's a cute little item, speaking of this patch. I think it's going to be big. Um, people be looking for it. It's called the beer patch. Uh, can I demonstrate that? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Barry, come on out here. Uh, Barry's got one on right now. He's Barry. Um, what it does, it, it, it emits trace amounts of beer directly into your system. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this will, this, that's good. It, 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 it's good looking, too, isn't it? It really is. But, and, now, that, that'll cut back on the urge for a tall cold one, Mark. Now, how much, how much beer does that actually ingest into his system? Well, Barry? About 24 bottles. <laughs> About 24 bottles a day. It's a good right. idea. Beer goes right into the belly. Yeah. So this is going to be one of the big. It's a good show, problems. man, though, too. It's a good show. <laughs> Thanks. I like the show. C can you swim in that? <laughs> Haven't tried. <laughs> beer goes right into the belly, though. Yeah. It's, it's going to be big. I go through about a six patch a weekend. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. All you right. know, I got a patch here for the ride home. <laughs> hey, good. don't patch and drive. Okay. Yeah, you're really sure. <laughs> we'll be right back uh, after these messages. <laughs> Back. Our next guest has dazzled audiences across the country and now is about to thrust his hips across Europe as the world's greatest hula hoop artist. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Matt Plendel. <laughs>
tough. What's oh. now? What? Back and forth like this. What is it? Back and forth like Back this. Back and forth. You know that one, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're bumping my ring, pal. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not that easy. Come here, sir. Get down here. I don't want. You, you want to try this? Sure you do. Come on down here. Slap that on there. It's back and forth. Watch Matt. Oh, yeah. Me... All right, there we go. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. We're about out of time. I want to thank my guests. Ken Hudson Campbell, Mr. Mike Franco, Matt Plendel, of course, Eric Bergman, the Royal Crown of Ewan. This guy who's tried valiantly. That's it. Good night, America.